Hi, this is Kevin from the Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at an alternative solution to question 25 of the Junior Maths Challenge from 2021. A totally different way of doing it to the way suggested in the official solutions and in the way that I did it in my previous video as well, which I think is actually a much more practical way of approaching it. I think you can learn a lot from this way of solving the questions, um, not just about the maths involved, but actually about the way you're meant to think about challenge papers to try to get through the questions in time and to solve uh, the uh, questions using problem solving techniques that don't necessarily have to be totally rigorous but can help us really hone in on the answer more quickly. I've put this entire paper as well as the 2020 paper into a totally free online course. You can sign up for that course by clicking on the link below. For each question there I'll also give you a video hint uh, before you get to see the full solution. That means you can have a go at the question. If you get stuck, you can have a look at the hint. You can really give yourself the best chance of getting the question right before going on to watch the solution. I really think it's the best way to prepare for the Junior Maths Challenge or for other challenges at this age. And it's just great extension and enrichment material for any students of the same age too. So do click the link below and head over there and have a look at that course. So after I made the previous video about the solutions to this uh, Junior Maths Challenge 2021 paper, I did realise that there's probably a slightly easier way of going about question 25 than the way that's in the official mark scheme and the way that I presented in my previous video. So we're just going to talk about that here. And it uses one of these ideas from the maths challenges in particular that is super useful to bear in mind, which is that you have the answer in front of you. The answer is one of these five options. And so sometimes like a trial and error method, an elimination method can be a lot better than the sort of official mathematical answer here. And that's exactly true here. So let's just remember this question. It says, I choose four different integers. When I add all the pairs of these numbers in turn, the totals that I obtain are 23, 26, 29, 32, and 35. One of those totals is repeated. And what's the largest of the four integers? Okay. So, um, you know, so the the four numbers are a, b, c, and d, and the totals that we're looking at are like a plus b, a plus c, a plus d, etc. Right. So let's just go through in turn. Imagine the answer was 18. Right. The largest number is 18. To get a total of 35 being the biggest pair, and the next one is going to have to be 17. 17 plus 18 is 35. Right. Now um, I'm going to have to now make 29 as one of the pairs as well. So it could it could be 18 plus 11. Right. But that would give me 29. But uh, 11 plus 17 would have to be one of the pairs. That would be 28. And that's not one of the numbers we're looking for. So it can't be 11, actually. So alternatively, to get the 29, I could do 17 plus 12. Um, but now 12 plus 18 is not, uh, is not one of the pairs. Um, so again, uh, that uh, isn't, uh, isn't going to work here. OK, I mean, we could, uh, depending on how how confident you are of how far through these you need to check, you might think, or oh, maybe 18 could go with eight to get the 26 and that doesn't work as well or something. But I think I can stop here and say, the answer is not going to be uh, 18 because the larger totals are going to have to combine from the larger numbers. Okay, so I'm not going to do this totally rigorously. I'm not, you know, you might say, oh, maybe you need to check a bit more than I have done. Um, but this sort of style of solving the problem is a math challenge technique where we're trying to get there in a reasonable amount of time. Um, so let's now check 19, right? And if I, if I do this, I say, okay, well, if 19 is the biggest, the next biggest is going to have to be 16 um, because 19 plus 16 is 35. So to get the 32 here, um, well, I can't have 16 twice, but I could do 19 plus 13 and 19 plus 13 gives 32. OK, um, and this time 13 and 16 do give the 29. Um, so now I can try and get the 26 and I could say, ah, I could do 19 plus 7, but 7 plus 13 then isn't one in the totals. I could do uh, 16 plus 10 uh, and then ah, 10 plus 13 gives 23. Um, and I realize I've actually found the answer here, right? I've got all the totals. 10 plus 13 is 23. 10 plus 16 is 26. 10 plus 19 is 29. 13 plus 16 is 29. And that's the one that's repeated. Um, 13 plus 19 is 32. And 16 plus 19 is 35. So, okay, I've been a bit lucky that 
you know, the correct answer was one of the earlier ones. But even if it wasn't, I could be going through and eliminating the other options here, right? So for 20, for, so if 20 was the biggest option, if C was the right answer and 20 was the biggest, it would have to be 20 and 15 to get 35. Um, but now to get the 32, I'm going to have to include either a 12, which doesn't work because 12 plus 15 isn't, isn't one of the numbers, uh, or I'm going to uh, have to do 15 plus 17, uh, and then I'd have a 20 plus 17, and that's not in there, right? So, um, so we can keep doing it for the others, right? 21, if 21 is the answer, 21 plus 14 would give me 35. Um, but now to get the to get the 32, I'm going to have to include, well, I can't do 14 plus 18 to get 32 because 18 plus 21 would be too big. Um, so I'm going to have to do 21 plus 11, but then 11 plus 14 isn't in there. And finally, for 22, I could say our 22 plus 13 would give 35. And again, for the same reason, it's going to have to, to get the 32. It's going to have to go with the 22. So that's 10. Ah, this time 10 plus 13 is in there. Um, so this is looking uh, slightly uh, more promising. I've got the 32 and I've got the 23 uh, here. Now to get the 29, I could either do 22 and 7 but then like 10, 10 plus seven isn't in there. Um, or I could do 13 plus 16, um, but now 16 plus 22 isn't in there. Or I could do um, 10 plus 19, uh, but again, 19 plus 22 isn't in there. So, you know, you can actually eliminate all of the other options pretty quickly compared to the amount of like uh, rigor that was required to do the other one. And certainly for the math challenge, you know, if you're just, trying to solve this problem at the point where you found the four numbers that work you don't have to think about it anymore right um yes it's nice to do more convincing rigorous math and to think about it after the challenge but the point in these challenges is you get the answers and you also find quick and efficient methods that are sort of helping you so, sort of hone in and problem solve in the best possible way so anyway have a look at the other solution as well i mean it's a perfectly good one and it's it's uh, you know perhaps you could find that in the time as well. But I think most students that would have got this right in the challenge would have done something like I've done in this video rather than the way I solved it before. So I just wanted to show you that here. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to sign up for my totally free online course link in the description below. Uh, you can over there have a go at the whole of the 2020 paper, the whole of the 2021 paper, all of them with a video hint and solution to give yourself the best chance of getting the questions uh, right for yourself it's a great way to prepare for the junior maths challenge or any other maths challenge for students ages 10 to 13 and it's a totally free course so no reason not to click below and go over there and sign up now